they have got the gardeners cutting the plants on the uh, new car park. Just glad he's not cutting my hair. Car park itself, most of adding up to now, I think, is six uh, cars. So it's not highly popular. Well, we did mention last week that this truly scrumptious shop's been done up and apparently it's going to be total tiles so they should be opening very soon and the old Argos store and the British Heart Foundation have now got the signage up so that's looking good to be opening in the very near future Select and the market centre is now officially open after that long journey from round corner and the big screen's on so you can watch the Olympics but you can't hear it it's that quiet, you can't hear it now it's time Burns, can somebody explain what these barriers are for? there's two of them and they've been like it since Noah was a lad and I don't quite see what the purpose is keep falling over and causing chaos there doesn't seem any particular reason and then he tried to say oh. well the historic centre we can't really see what's happened well see what's happened <laughs> there's lots of bloody big holes lots of activity you can't actually sort of see a base for the historic centre starting to develop yet. And there's certainly a lot of activity, the amount of uh, holes that have been people on site. We've got to get this through on time, otherwise we lose 11 million quid. Well, this little uh, <coughs> alcove, whatever you want to call it, at uh, Christ Church with the War Memorial and other grave markers and the council told us when we were trying to get it open for Remembrance Day so people could pay their respects to those that gave the life that it was far too dangerous things could fall off the church <coughs> yet last week they had kids in here now it's about time Cheshire East pull her finger out and got this open, this small area Lovely place for a picnic, lovely place to come and pay your respects to those that gave the lives. Couple of bob to sort it. So why isn't it open? Ideal place for a picnic. Get all the flowers there, I mean, it's not much money for a load of flowers, is it? And a nice little place. Cheshire East, pull your finger out. Well, at the end of the library, there's this ch chantry coach court. Probably a lot of people won't see this. There's a office supplies. There's an educational resource. There's Matt White Financial Service. Lewis Rogers Solicitors. Unite Union. Accountant and Crew Town Council. So it's sort of a little hidden place of shops or businesses you might never see. As we saw last week, we are now through High, High Street. The wall's gone down, still got the swimming pool down there. And this is going to be the way get to this cycle path. It's a bloody deep drop here. Not quite how we're going to do that. Well, still the road by Tesco is closed in another couple of weeks. Can't see anything exciting happening other than a lot of people uh, 
with diggers and barriers. Well, the old tree, I think, has just give up on this because <laughs> it's starting to sprout. Every 10 foot tall, every time they've worked out what to do with it. They are putting lots of sort of things in here for zebra crossing. Natural Oak Street. Again, nothing's bloody happened, so why close it for weeks and weeks? So we're just getting on with the blasted job. I see, we have now got a bit of a bit of better view. You can see that pit there, the massive swimming pool. And we're straight through to the lava now. There's a couple of pipes sticking up. And lots of hardcore about. And not much other signs of uh, progress. Presumably they've got to make a driveway or ramp or something to get to the actual library. I don't know if we can read this on the video, but this is the uh, the plan. It opens in 2025, and it's going to cost 14 million. And what have we got out of 14 million? Not a lot. And they say they got no bloody money. Well, the new car park's not been a huge success at the moment. There's been an average of about six cars per day in, and that's your lot. And some of them might be actually working on you. <laughs> so uh, not the uh, stampede we all expected. On well, the new car park, I did have fun at weekend because it's supposed to be open from seven till midnight every day, including Saturday and closed Sunday. But people came on Saturday and it wasn't open because somebody, not mentioning any names, forgot to open it. <laughs> oh dear. That's 50p the council have lost. There's lots of drilling going on, so I don't know what they're up to now. Near the knocking. Knocking, drilling, sanding. Well, those that watch regularly, you might remember that they cut all the Derby docks weeds back and the plan was they said was to keep it as it was flat but it's all grown back again and it's just turning into you can see the kids or whatever sort of created these little places off it where they're hiding and being naughty little boys and girls Now this is actually a real problem because if you're an old person and walking down here and there's people in here doing naughty things and the path's just there it can be very frightening for either lone females or a whole day's pensioners so why the hell they spent weeks chopping it all down just to let it all grow again makes no bloody sense the police could come down Derby Street or Walker Street, view across, anybody doing anything wrong they could see. But now they're all hiding in these little, whatever you call them. Well, the new car park has got rent to kill in at the moment. Presumably, uh, they're trying to get rid of the pigeons. Well, it's a bit sort of dicey that because the pigeon was on a nest and it's not really cricket unless they found some other uh, things to kill they are a bit worried on the bus station because they have some Portuguese workers and they came in and saying about there could be riots in crew today and I believe police are sort of stacked up in some location should anything happen but so far there's uh, no sign of it and if they write in crew we probably wouldn't make well, notice the difference really would we 
And windows in the pub's gone in last night, but we don't think it's anything to do with riots, just some nice little children having fun and games. Well, Derby Street, and a child nearly got hurt this morning because the pavement's closed, and if there's cars down there, you can't see it. And then you have to step out into the road. Now, all this pavement's closed. And there's no reason for this last bit to be closed anyway. But by law, you have to display your permit. And no display of permit. The main reason being, they ain't bloody got one. So you can't just close pavements willy-nilly because you think, hmm, all right. You have to have a permit, and these obviously haven't got one that's confirmed by the council.